Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, we're going to talk about balance. Balance is one of the principles of art. But before we do, let's review what the elements of art are, shall we? Line, shape, color, baby, color, form, value, texture, and space. Remember, the elements of art are what you need every time that you cook up a marvelous masterpiece. The principles of art are like the sugar and spices that you sprinkle throughout to make your work of art even more awesome. The principle of art that we are going to be focusing on today is balance. There are three kinds of balance. Symmetrical balance is what you see when you look at the butterfly. Symmetrical balance means this. If you take a vertical line and run it down your work of art, or even in nature, as you see with this butterfly, whatever appears on one side of that line of symmetry also appears on the other side, and it would be exactly the same or symmetrical. Now check out the crab. Obviously, he's been doing a lot of weightlifting with one arm, not so much with the other. If we put a line of symmetry down the middle of that picture, it would not be the same on both sides. It would be what's called asymmetrical. And at the bottom is what we will be focusing on today. When lines, shapes, colors, form, value, texture, and space all comes from one center point that is called radial balance. Let's look at some other examples of radial balance, shall we? This would be an example of an Aztec carving, an Aztec calendar of the sun. And if you look right in the middle at that good looking guy's face, you will see that all lines and shapes radiate or come from that center point. Another beautiful example of radial balance would be this, what's called a rose window. This is stained glass, and we are looking at this from the inside of a church. All colors and shapes are radiating from that center point. You can find radial balance in architecture, nature, and art. Check out these Tibetan monks who are creating a beautiful mandala, which is an example of radial design, putting bit by bit grains of sand to create this beautiful radial balance design. And one of my favorite artists, Ryan McGinnis, created these amazing glow-in-the-dark radial balance masterpieces. So there you have it. Now let's chat about our radial design. All right, guys, to create your radial design, the first thing you're going to have to do is find the center of your circle. But before you even do that, name and teacher code on the back. So, to find the center, you're going to take your ruler, and in my case, I'm using something called a tape measure. I've got my tape measure at one end of my circle, and I'm trying to find the center. My circle is 14 inches in length, so I know that half of 14 is 7, so I'm just going to find the 7 and just draw a little line right there. And I'll go the opposite direction to make sure my lines are matched up and right there. So that right there is the center. Now that I've found the center of my circle, because it's going to be a radial design, I know that it will start here and all elements of art will radiate or come away from this point. For example, allow me to show you one that I've already finished. So on this amazing design that I made, I started in the center and then all shapes lines and color radiated from there. If you were to divide my design like the pieces of a pie, you would notice that all parts of my pie are the same. This is radial balance. So for you to begin, you might want to just try laying some shapes 
in the center of your design. So I'm gonna start with a circle, which is different than the one I started with before. On your tables, you will have plenty of shapes, sizes, and colors to choose from. It's up to you, but you will notice that some of them will have a sticker on the back that you can peel off, while others are going to be the same on both sides, in which case you'll have to add glue. So to start, pick a shape that's good for the center, and just start playing with different shapes before you stick them down because what you're doing right now is figuring out something called your composition. A composition is where an artist places things. And you know that for your composition, it needs to be a radial balance, meaning that whenever I put something on one side, not only does it go on the other side, but that only makes it symmetrical. It needs to radiate from the center, which means I would need a line here and a line there. So it's good for you to kind of practice, lay things out and see if your design is a radial one. So if I put that one there, I know that my next move would be to put one in each of those sections. And once you feel like you're happy with your design, and you have the hang of how a radiating design starts in the center and radiates and moves outward, then you can start to attach your pieces. So this one, it doesn't have any adhesive, no sticker on the back, so I'm going to use my glue brush, put a little bit of glue on my brush, put a little bit of the white glue around the edges, and because we want it to stick really well, our next activity from here will be to apply paint to the surface. I want to make sure that the paint doesn't cause my little pieces to come up. So I'm just gonna give that a little massage to make sure it stays. For the ones with the sticker on the back, you gotta make sure you get those fingernails, put them to good use and go ahead and stick them down. You can take these little pieces of paper and put them in the trash can on your table. Please make it so that I don't have to pick up 5,000 small white pieces of paper from the floor. I will love you forever if you pick up after yourself. So now that I've got those stuck down, I can go ahead and start thinking more and more about how I want my design to continue to radiate out. Looks like I'm going to need to find myself another circle to go there. If you're not sure if your design is radiating from the center, you might consider asking a friend. It looks like I'm going to need a square there. All right, guys, you'll know your design is finished when it radiates from the center, all of your shapes, are symmetrical both vertically and horizontally and you've gone all the way to the edge filling up most of your circle. All right, let's see the amazing radial designs that you'll come up with.